Hello and welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Beach Volleyball Head Coach Dave Trumbo. Coach, uh, you wrapped up your season a little more than a week ago at the uh, Small College National Championship. Uh, first time you were in with the um, with the other Division Twos and the, the other Division Threes and Division Twos, and um, kind of finished about sixth place, kind of about where you were seated. So just kind of talk about how that went, starting with pool play. Uh yeah, well, it's a three-day tournament, yep. and it's the first time they've had all the NCAA Division Twos and Division Threes together. So there was ten Division Twos yep. and two Division Threes, counting ourselves. Yep. Um, and we were, went and seated seventh. Yep. And on Friday, we had three matches. Our second match was against St. Leo, who beat us badly with, during our spring yep. break trip. Uh, but we didn't have the same lineup. We had Jang was back in the lineup yep. at ones, and so our lineup was completely different. And we literally won three matches th by two points that went three. Yeah. <laughs> and so we ended up beating them three to two. Yeah. Uh, and But then we played Eckert. So then there was torrential rain and lightning and all that, and they postponed. So you had to play 8 o'clock the next morning. We played Eckert, 12th seed, couldn't beat them. Yeah. <laughs> they were really good. Yeah. And we did not play well that morning. So we that put us into – it still put us in the silver bracket. Yeah. Um, for the challenge, or actually for the challenge, it put us in a group of three. Yeah, <clears throat> we came out of that, which was Saturday, in the silver bracket for Sunday. Yeah. Top four teams are in the gold. Five, six, seven, and eight are in the silver. Yeah, I thought, considering all the other D two teams there, that was pretty good. Yeah, um, but wouldn't you know it? We play St. Leo's first, and it literally came down. It was two to two, and it came down. Um, it was a two-point game that yeah. we didn't win, so we end up losing 3-2. Yeah. So we kind of got tied for sixth, which yeah. was about what we were seeded. So, you know, all in all, I thought it was a, it was, it was a good showing. Yeah, certainly, like you said, especially coming back in a team like St. Leo, who was, I think, seed ahead of you, and you were able to come back and beat them after you lost them earlier in the season. Yes. And um, like you said, when you're competing mostly Division two schools to kind of finish mid-pack in that bracket, certainly a big accomplishment for, you know, one of the two Division threes there. Right on, and the, and the ones, I mean the two teams in the gold that we did play, yeah. um, we competed yeah. against Spring Hill. We we took we we lost four to one, and and the ones were really close. The fours were pretty close too. Yeah. Uh, so I, I was pleased. I thought we made great strides, especially in our strength and conditioning with yeah. uh, Tony. Um, I think we got a lot stronger, and. Um, we are getting more out of our team now as yeah. they embrace beach and mm -hmm. the cold and, and, and the cold or weather. Yeah. Uh, we got a lot more practice days in again. Yeah, absolutely. Now, the good news for beach is that you had no seniors this year. That's right. So, That's right. you know, kind of building on this year, you know, competing that division two II and three NCAA bracket for the first time, kind of see where you stand, knowing that you can compete with those teams has to be a confidence boost moving forward. Absolutely. And the stronger our top five can be, that's the key. Yeah. You even if your if your fives win, you get one point. Yeah. If your ones win, you get one point. Right. Uh, and with the, some of the freshmen we have coming in here, the competition to be in that top five next year is going to be very interesting. Yeah. Uh, so I am really looking forward to uh, getting everyone back. Plus the addition of the freshmen, I think we're going to be we're going to be ready. Yeah. They are talking about. There's two more D3 teams that added beach this year. They're talking about a D3 national championship next year. Okay. If they can get four of the five to come, they're going to do it. Yeah. Uh, so Kathy DeBeer, executive director of the ABCA, was alluding to that when we were down there. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. Growing sport. Yeah, absolutely. It's exciting to see more Division three teams and teams in all divisions out of the sport. And mm -hmm. certainly an exciting sport. If you haven't had a chance to come out and watch it, it's certainly uh, certainly entertaining form of volleyball. It really is. It really is. And yeah. the fact that you guys streamed, I don't think anybody streams, maybe yeah. a national championship, but you know, the exposure that Stevenson's getting from beach volleyball and you know, Joe did just a fantastic job um, with his crew out there on that day streaming and so everybody could watch us play. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Coach, we thank you for your time all year, not just during the beach season, but for the indoor as yeah. well. It's indoor and, uh, season now, Greg. It is. <laughs> a few months away. So yeah. um, I'm sure we'll chat again in the fall, but again, thanks for your time all year. And um, like I said, we'll chat, you know, probably in mid-August. Looking forward to it. All right. For Dave Trumbo, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Trumbo Show.